Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are Former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh has accused PM Narendra Modi of spreading falsehood and canards in a desperate bid to win the Gujarat elections and asked him to apologize to the nation. He also rejected allegations of a dinner hosted by suspended Congress leader Mani Shankar Ayer with Pakistani diplomats over Gujarat polls. The growth rate of India's economy is projected to accelerate from this year's 6.7% to 7.2% next year and 7.4% in 2019, overcoming the slowdown from demonetization. It is again set to become the world's fastest growing major economy, the UN has said. Rahul Gandhi has been elected the President of the Congress, taking over from his mother, who had helmed the country's oldest party for 19 years. The 47-year-old will formally take over on December 16th. Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulated Gandhi and wished him a fruitful tenure. Pakistan has rebuffed allegations of a secret meeting between Congress leaders and its High Commissioner in New Delhi and said that India should stop dragging Islamabad into its electoral debate. It termed PM Narendra Modi's remark as baseless and irresponsible. India's accession to the Shanghai Cooperation Organization has not only significantly increased the political profile and potential of the grouping, but also the group's capacity to help stabilize the situation in Central and South Asia. It will also help resolve the crisis in and around Afghanistan. Senior advocate Rajiv Dhawan has written to CGI Deepak Mishra that henceforth he will not practice in the court, alleging humiliation. The move comes days after the CGI took exception to the conduct of some senior lawyers. Three militants, allegedly Pakistanis, have been killed in a gunfight between the security forces and the militants in North Kashmir. A woman trying to escape from the house in which the militants were hiding was also killed in the crossfire. The Election Commission has told the Supreme Court that a candidate should not contest from two constituencies. Petitioner lawyer Ashwini Kumar Upadhyay said that one person, one vote and one candidate, one constituency is the dictum of democracy. The BCCI has decided to revoke the ban on the Rajasthan Cricket Association, provided former IPL czar Lalit Modi stays away from its functioning. It was suspended by the Indian Cricket Board in May 2014 when ex-IPL Commissioner Modi was re-elected its president. Indian cricketer Virat Kohli and Bollywood actress Anushka Sharma are now married. The close-knit family affair took place in Tuscany, Italy on Monday afternoon. They announced their new relationship status on social media, where congratulatory messages poured in soon after. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from Punjab and Canada follows.